Oh, oh people, none there, none there, none there. But oh dick, once we get a focal, we got the shad flies, people. They're coming back. Fuck sakes, forgot about them. Oh well, that's my own fault. But uh, just do a quick little perimeter check of the G-Slick. Checking for tire pressure. I'm gonna have to fill up these tires tomorrow before I head to my buddy's house. Always a good idea. But uh, let's get the fuck out of here. So, shads are coming out soon. Lovely, just fucking lovely. Not a big deal. So the plan for tonight is, being Friday night, well, theoretically Saturday morning now, uh, we're gonna go home. Put a new coil in this fucking thing. This thing's baked, coil shot. But we're gonna make that THC VG juice tonight. I'm not gonna film the drive home. We're just gonna go home and get her done. So let's do it, people. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, we're home. Surprise, there's no frogs on my walkway. Oh shit, there was. Oh no, okay, that's something else. Kinda shocked, kinda shocked. Oh, Oreo's barking. I locked Oreo in his crate before I left today because I knew he was gonna fuck around. Food and then shit all over the house. So I left him in this crate till I got home. Now he won't poop and I have no idea where he went. Oreo, get over here, get over here. Go poop in the yard, go poop right there. So that's gonna be our base right there, the glycerin, which is perfectly safe to vape as it is. Yes, it says uh, topical skin and emollient. I have done a bath with this stuff, which is awesome. They say, what is it? You can apply it directly to your skin, but if you do it in a bath, you put like a little bit, like half a bottle into your bathtub and uh, then you add some Epsom salt to it and it helps like re-moisturize your skin and make it not itch all the time like my skin does. But also I've cleaned out one of these, if I'll show it, there it goes. I've cleaned out one of these, the other one is, uh... no this is the clean one, yes. This one is not because that one's still a little wet. This one here, I'm just gonna put it away. Just fire it in the cupboard for now. And this one here, I need to peel off my stickers. So things you're gonna need for this recipe. Number one, vegetable glycerin. Number two, some herb. I don't care what strain, what it is, some herb. Number three, an oven. Number four, a porcelain dish. Number five, a way to grind up your herb. I am gonna be using a brand new coffee friggin' Black & Decker grinder. Got this at Walmart for $8.97. I never ground coffee up before. Could give a fuck how to do it. I don't care. I don't know, I'm not about to grind it up with coffee. And I also bought one of these mesh coffee filters to use to strain it out so I get all the juice, none of the, uh, the, the, the herb. So let's get this grinder set up and start mashing out some herbs. Holy shit, is that ever clean? Not for long. Okay, I need to go grab my herbs and we'll grind her up. Just grinding up the last of it. Yep. And we got a whole bunch of it over here too, so. I'm just gonna grind it up. They want it into a fine powder. They said you're supposed to use five grams, but I have no idea how much five grams is. I don't have a way to find out, so I'm just gonna wing it, and hopefully it turns out awesome. Okay, so we need to preheat the oven, because the next state is the decarbing stage. Uh, decarbonoxylating, or whatever the fuck it's called. Decarbo... Uh, one second. There it is. There's the word. Decarbo... De decarboxylation? Decarboxylation, people. Frig. So, they recommend setting the... Okay, we hit bake. They recommend setting it to 240. We're going to go 235, because 242.5 and you, the medicinal value of your plant starts to vaporize. But 240 or 235... We'll just start that for one hour. Uh, 245, what it's gonna do is, it's going to just basically turn the THCA into THC, therefore making this more potent for an extraction. And because we're doing a tincture, a tincture, sure, we need that to be decarbed. The problem I had last time when I made this stuff, I didn't do this step. And I have to admit, it wasn't very potent. Like, you really had to chatch a lot back to get any sort of effect. And, uh, oh, frig sakes, my friend just told me that she, she just got some hash. But anyway, yeah, the decarbonoxylating, uh, what that does is it turns THCA into THC, making it for a way better extraction. And the guy that I read about, well, I didn't know what to do, and I was, uh, like, my buddy's like, oh, don't forget the decarbolo, decarbol, yeah, whatever. He's sending me in a text. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? And then he's like, oh, and he goes, uh, look it up on YouTube. YouTube, there's tons of videos on it and I looked it up on YouTube and there were tons of videos on it and then I found this website here which explained it and the results 
and I'll show you this here. Uh, now he's using Keef and cannabis trims. So on the Keef, before decarbing, the THCA was at 24%, the THC was at 3.8. So after decarbing for 30 minutes, the THC went from 3.8% to 25.4%, and then going for the full 60, it gave him an extra little bit off there. So yeah, we're gonna do the full 60. Uh, the same goes for cannabis uh, trim here. As you see, it went from 0.6 to 40, uh, 4.8 to 6.9%. Which could be great for making like things like teas and stuff maybe like a nice Earl Grey pot You know what I'm saying? Alrighty, so The medicines is in the oven and it's baking currently for it's been one minute Decarbolating or whatever fuck my oven's gonna smell like dope after this <laughs> Oh well, whatever, I can clean that out. There's this great method to cleaning those things that I've never done yet, that I saw online and was like, oh fuck yeah, doing that, and when I do that, I'll videotape it for science! Sorry about that. Fucking oven's freaking me out because I keep hearing popping and stuff, and I'm questioning if it's the ceramic, the faux ceramic bowl, getting its ass handed to it while it's decarbolating. Hope not, because I need that. So that's gotta go into a crock pot after this. That's right, people. THC juice is not made in your conventional methods. It's done in a crock pot. All right, we got the crock pot out. It's all good to go. Herbs are still decarbolating. House just fucking reeks right now. So we're gonna need some Febreze probably. But uh, I don't know, Oreo seems to like the smell, right buddy? We love this kind. But um, yeah, we're gonna have to wait till that's done cooking and then uh, go from there. So, frig yeah. Hey, anybody want a frying pan? Never gonna open it, never gonna use it. Same goes for this roaster. Put them on Kijiji. Never open, never used. Freaking frying pan and a roaster. The hell's this? And a hot chocolate maker. Christmas gifts that just never bothered. Never bothered. Because, you know, when I'm thinking about using a frying pan, I'm not thinking about using a frying pan. I'm thinking about using a frying pan on that mess I call the stove that I seriously need to clean off, which I'm going to do right fucking now. Okay, well, I cleared off the stove. I just got to wipe it down, take the cutting board off of it and my phone off it, my vape off of it. I also swept the floor. I didn't do anything with that room yet, but swept the floor up. So there's less shit on the floor, that's why Scampers is kind of confused because she's used to walking over newspapers and shit and now she's trying to find them again because she's dicked. Nope, she remembers that that cupboard door opens and she wants in there. But uh, yup, we got the crock pot all ready for some crock pot e-juice. Yup, crock pot e-juice. Maybe that's what I'll call this, the crock pot e-juice. Yeah, you put your weed in there, you know? But uh, no, no you don't. Also, um, if anybody has younger viewers that watch my videos, um, they won't be able to watch this one because I need to rate it 18A. So I'll be doing that and if anybody tries to watch it and they can't because they're too young, then I do apologize, but unfortunately it's the way she goes. It's an 18A video because of the contents. And then we cheat! Alright, he went upstairs for a quick second to uh, go see what's going on on Facebook. My friend sent me a picture, but for some reason it didn't go to my phone. I wanted to go see what the fuck was really going on because they were really laughing about it and stuff. And then I come back downstairs and realize my whole house reeks of pot. <laughs> What am I doing? I wanna put this in there. There we go. So, I didn't even bring down my fucking beer. Son of a bitch. But, still uh, decarbolating in there. Friggin' windows all nasty on this oven, but we have 21 minutes remaining. And I'm pretty sure my dog is feeling the medicinal effects. Cause look at him, he's just jumping around. He wants his bacon. Yes. He wants his, oh, sorry scampers. Just opened the door and she fucking went into it face first. Take it easy, puppy. Take it easy. Take it easy. He wants some of this bacon. You want that one? You want that one? You want that one? Take it. There you go. Oh, you freaking tort in half, eh? Ripped it in two like a torso. Bye, bubby. Oh, the new wide bore drip tips. Love this kind. You can just really take a mega haul onto it. I got a big wad of spit onto it already, frig sakes. No, nope, those are mouth cookies. I apologize. But, um, yeah, it just makes this mod look ridiculous now, eh? Almost like something you'd show up your bum to find out if you're sick. Just saying. But she hauls. Mm, does she fucking ever? Love this thing. Just makes the plumes. Speaking of plumes, you're not burning yet, are you? Better not be. Son of a bitch. So, yeah, we're just gonna wait for that to bake. And then, uh, we'll bake it. We'll make it. We'll vape it. 
and it'll be glorious, and it's fucking hot down here. Alrighty, I was upstairs, I heard the oven go off. It fucking reeks in this house. But in the end, we end up with that. Tanner's fucking hat, is it? Yeah, I wanna need an oven mitt. There we go, that's what we end up with. Looks the same, smells a lot nicer, that's for sure. Now we go ahead and add the glycerin to it. I'm gonna do the whole 100 mil bottle, and uh, go from there. Okay, well I decided to do the full 200 mil, so it's in there now, look, you can tell. I got me a spoon here. I'm just gonna stir it up and mix it together really well. That's one of the key ingredients there is the, the stirring process and making sure that it's all mixed together and then once it's done we put it in the crock pot for four hours on high and that's exactly what it's gonna do it's gonna make that VG load itself up and it's gonna be a glorious and there she be inside the crock pot on high this is gonna be awesome hope it works out alrighty well we're gonna let that do its thing and then uh, what I'm gonna do right now is grab a couple more beers go upstairs have a cheech watch some THC pug one video and and uh, what time is it? <laughs> and uh, whatever time index is on this video clip, I'll have to come back in that a lot of time to, uh, well, in four hours from whatever the time is when I get upstairs. And then this will be ready to pour. Now for the pouring technique, I bought one of these coffee filters. I washed it all out because there was like dust and fingerprints in there. So people were like just totally manhandling the fuck out of this thing. And I realized that it fits pretty damn good in this cup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour that contents of that through here, strain it into the cup, and then bring it upstairs and separate it into bottles. Which reminds me, I have to clean some bottles, so. And then we cheached. Alrighty, well, it's been about an hour and a half. I'm a beer and a half in. Yeah. Two beers in. I figure we'll bring the empties downstairs and go check on, on the crock pot. Well, it most certainly doesn't smell like friggin' dope in the house now. It smells really different. Yeah. So it's just still going. Still giving her. Fucking hot as frig. I have a horrible time getting it out of there. Hopefully the oven mitt uh, has enough insulations. Otherwise, I might be dead. But which where the fuck did I put my oven mitt? I have to find that. Jesus, there it is. Stupid got it. Fucking cat. Did she chew the thumb out of this one yet? No. Why do you attack my oven mitts? Don't touch this. It's not your toys. Not yours either. I really only have one oven mitt. The other one, fucking scampers, ripped the top and the thumb off of it. Stupid cat. But uh, it's only been an hour and 15 minutes. We still got three hours and 45 or some shit or two hours and 45 minutes of waiting before it's done. And then we strain it, then we bottle fill it, and then we cheech it. I wanna see how awesome it is. Like I said, I tried the stuff that Pug One had. Um, same concept, put it into an e-dart and you know vape away odorless and all this stuff but uh with his it's so friggin thick that the only way to get a chooch off of it is you have to use a glass tank something like a pro uh, pro tank 2 or a mini pro tank but it's got to be the glass it can't be the acrylic or the polycarbonate tank because you have to take a lighter and basically heat up the glass and heat up the metal so that the fluids or the oil inside can heat up and get enough viscosity to get onto the wick and wick properly so you can take a good blaze. But this stuff here that I'm making, uh, it should be thin enough. If not, I'll drop some propylene glycol into it and thin it out a bit more. But uh, that'll lower, obviously lower the potency, but whatevs. They, everybody I talk to who use propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin, they always do this step that I'm doing now, just VG, and then they add PG in later on if they need to thin it. But most of the guys that I know that use this method, they also use drippers, like my one that I have there, like, well, a lot of them that I have. You know, the ones you drip the juice onto the cotton. <laughs> well, they use those, so the thicker the better. It, it'll still wick, and what's really nice is you can really get a major haul off of it. So like you take one big blast from that and you're like, fuck, I'm done for the night. See you later. You know what I'm saying? The stuff Pug had tasted pretty good. It was pretty good, pretty good shit. It just sucks that you have got to carry a lighter around with you to use it. And that's the only dilemma I have. I've seen videos online of people making this stuff with uh, like herbs, uh, solids, like um, shatters and all that. There is actually a sh shatter recipe if you'd rather go that route to get a more concentrated dosage. But um, I figure this way here is the easiest for me. So we're going to try it out. And uh, this time it'll probably be a lot better than the last batch. Because the last batch I didn't decarb it. So for sakes. But I'm going to let the dog out right now. Grab a couple more beers. And uh, I think I'm going to go watch some freaking heroes on Netflix. Apparently they're re-releasing that show. So let's let the dog out. Holy shit boys. You'll never believe what may or may not have just happened. You'll never believe it. You ready for this? You ready? Did, did you see it yet? 
Did you see it? You probably did by now, I hope. I freaking cleaned the floor in the entranceway. Yup. If anybody came into this house right now and just breathed the air, they would be right polluted. Just saying. Oh, speaking of right polluted, let's have another beer. Too bad it's only 4%. 4%, yeah. Kind of weak sauce. But it came with a cell phone charger. Yeah! Love free shit. Well, I'm just sitting here waiting for that friggin' shit to cook, and I found something awesome in my closet. I found my old realistic friggin' little piece of shit, uh, piano. So I chucked some batteries into it, turned it on. You know, you can go piano and, you know, play, play little chords for you. You know, a little bit of that. You know, and we got different instruments too, like, uh, uh, trumpet. You know, friggin' human voice. Apparently I just called you guys a hoe. There, that was like a... a dr the drag queen calling hoe, everybody. And a group of them. Anyway, um, what else we got here? Pipe organ. Yeah, a brass ensemble. A flute, a synth drum, you know, awesome, a jazz organ, anyway, enough of that, and my favorite, the one that One Pug Life needs, Fucking stovepipe, yeah. I've been dicking around with this for a bit, having some fun. I actually watched a movie on YouTube on how to play piano, and that's how I learned how to make a chord. Because I watched a fucking 11 minute movie on the beginner's guide to actually playing piano and stuff. So now I know where the chords are. Fuck, I'm bored. Holy shit, boys, I'm up here getting right polyestered. New term, polyestered. Oh, ladies, I ever smell like dope out here, freak sakes. But, um, polyestered means getting drunk. I made that up after seeing one of Pug's videos this one time, polyester falling asleep in, a, in his truck. But, uh, yeah, I'd say she's done. We turn it off. Oh, God, this crock pot is probably no longer usable for food, but that's what we end up with. The Black Death. <coughs> so now we need to take that out of there and pour it into the strainer. This is gonna be fun. And as you can tell, the sun is actually up right now. Alrighty, there we go. It's in the pickle jar. You're probably saying, Adam, why the fuck's it in the pickle jar? Well, I forgot how hot it was. When I poured it into this glass, it made this really cool effect to it. Yeah, it totally warped the shit right out of it. Right fucked it up. We got a lot in there. I'm just gonna wait for it to cool down, and then we're gonna separate it into bottles. But it's gotta cool down. This sounds like a job for the fridge! And while that's happening, I'm gonna go upstairs and pilfer through some plastic bottles and uh, find some bottles to put this shit into because uh, we need to vape this. Fuck, I hope this works out. Like the last time I've done anything like this, I didn't do the decarbonating and I also didn't use the crock pot pressure cooker method. I used stove top double boiler with a glass jar method. Didn't decarb the dope and it worked, but you really had to freaking crank on her. Like you almost needed to put a half a tank's worth from the EVOD India. What the fuck am I doing up here? I'm looking for bottles. Holy shit, Adam, get your shit together. Where did I put the bottles? All right, right back guys. All righty, we got three bottles to use, a 10 mil and two 30 mil, 70 mil total. I don't think it's gonna be enough, but but uh, look, we'll see what we get into. I have a feeling I made about a 90, a 90 yield this time around because last time I only used the one bottle of glycerin, this time I used the two, but I had a little bit more herbs in there and the herbs were a little bit more potent. So I'm hoping for a decent effect because yeah, it's awesome. And holy shit, am I ever polyestered. Well, while I'm waiting for that to cool down and things, I'm gonna head back upstairs and look for more bottles just in case we need them. Maybe another 30 will be fine. Then we can do. 30, 30, 30, 10, because uh, that'd be awesome, friggin' awesome. Alrighty, left it in the freezer for about an hour. Now it's the proper, you know, liquid consistency. So now we move it into the bottles. So that's how much we have. This is a one liter jar. There's no fucking way that's 100 mil. Well, let's extract. Alrighty, we got the 10 mil full, flavored and everything. I use the, uh, the spearmint here, called for 30 drops for 15% flavoring. 
So it should be nice and flavorful. Just gonna shake it up and then uh, we'll see how it vapes and then we'll fill up the rest of it with these bottles. Yeah. I even went as far as to rebuild the octopus. I just juiced up the coil. Look at that. It's vaping. Let's hit this. Moment of truth, people. Oh, wow. Does that ever... Huh. I think it needs more flavoring, but this stuff would totally work in a tank. It's good. <coughs> yep. Wow. It's really good. So I need to finish bottling the rest of this. As the problem is the taste. <coughs> it's so good. The flavor on this is phenomenal. Oh, that's good. That's, I gotta put that the fuck down. Holy shit. So there you go, people. There's a quick little show of the haul. So we have three, three 30 mils, that's 90 mil, and four 10 mils. So there you go. 130 milliliters of THC VG juice. And does it get you some frazzed? Fuck's sakes. Well, anyway, people, there you go. That's how you can make your very own THC VG juice. If you have a better way of doing it, let me know in the comments below. I'm shutting her down. It's early. I gotta be up by two to bring the dog over to my parents' house, then head out to my buddy's house and freaking party it up. I also gotta hit the beer store tomorrow and get a, a case of Molson's and all that. So uh, I'm gonna shut her down here and we'll talk to you tomorrow. So hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, click the like button. Questions, comments, concerns down below. They go and holy frig sakes, that juice is starting to set in. Gotta go, people. Keep on vlogging.